just got on board the Ha train and I'm on my way to the airport where I will leave for London in the next couple of hours. Cool, so I made it through customs, just on my way to the baggage claim, and then heading into London. London Road, Falls Club, Falmer, and Lewis, also Road, and Stations to Worthing, to change and to right, 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 right. Finally checked in. Um, I got in really early this morning, and some of my colleagues and I we we took um, we got a driver to bring us to our hotels. Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't check in until two o'clock this afternoon. So yeah, um, we went and walked around London. We all went our separate ways. You know, I went to Selfridges and I went to Harrods, the Lego store, needed to find somewhere to get data, I uh, had a Five Guys burger, uh, things like that. Nothing terribly exciting. Um, I'll be honest, there, there's not a lot that's changed. You know? London still just looks kind of so different, you know. it's. In, in some ways because I can see all the development around like the area that I'm in which is the Docklands but at the same time like everywhere else just looks the same so you know it just in some ways doesn't feel like it's moved on and I haven't been here in 14 years bit of a rainy day I'm not gonna lie freezing that's why I'm in a gown right now because I had to come home and take a really warm shower it was raining freezing cold wasn't prepared for it I brought a jacket thinking it's going to be cold, but the wet just changes everything. Um, so yeah, I'm meant to go to some dinner tonight, but I'm actually going to meet up with one of my designers. Um, yeah, which is back in the West End. This evening I went and saw one of my former designers, Carl, and uh, we went to one of the restaurants that was around 20 years ago when I lived in London called Chiquitos. So, had a little Mexican dinner, um, not as great as I remember it, and food is hellishly expensive. But uh, nice to be in the West End, good to catch up with Carl. Um, it's interesting to hear his view on kind of the work he's doing and the lifestyle here. Um, something I have noticed is that there is an app in the UK for everything and very localized. There didn't appear to be any ads for apps that are international. They only seem to be like local, local thing. Everything from your groceries to your data um, companies to cabs to all sorts of services um, seem to have an app for, for things. Um, and they kind of plastered everywhere. It's, it's the same as they used to almost be kind of URLs and everything and now they appear to just be kind of um, this thing saying download our app, download our app, which is very weird. It's, it's so different to what I'm understanding everywhere else around the world where 
there seems to be less interest in apps. It's maybe why I often have to have these conversations with people around, you know, why they keep wanting, insisting on having apps um, when kind of all the data that I've seen and where the experts like Ethan um, say that no, responsive web is the way to do things and even all the podcasts I hear talk about how people are going off app and starting to use the browser on their phone. So no, it's, it's very different. First world country, um, it's an interesting kind of piece of information. I'm going to call it a night. I've got a very early 7 a.m. Um, conference to attend where apparently there's five and a half thousand people going to be registering. So I can't even imagine how chaotic this is going to be. But uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and stay cool. Right. Uh -huh.